Hi everyone, this is Chris from Simply Peggy. As you can see on my screen right now, we are going to make another iCloud Removal video tutorial. Tama nyo narinig, gagawa tayo ngayon ng iCloud Removal video tutorial para sa iPad Mini 1. So as you can see here, meron tayong iPad Mini 1 which is locked on activation. So, dinala to dito ng ating may sugit na, na subscriber and then yan na, gusto nyo ipa-unlock yung kanya iPad. So, gagawin natin ngayon before ang ginagawa natin dito is bypass. So, pinidelete natin set up that app. But right now, we're, what we are going to do is we are going to change the serial number of this iPad so we can access the full capability of this iPad. So, before, without further ado, let's go and start this video. After this intro, Okay, so before we start the process, gusto mo nang pakita sa inyo, I just wanna show you the things that we need for this process. So first, we need a lightning cable. Lightning cable meaning yung charger niya or data transfer. Original mas maganda, or kahit hindi original basta good quality cable. As long that it supports data transfer, you are good to go. Another one, of course, we need this powerful machine, which is the Arduino setup. If you don't know how to do how to set up this kind of um, Arduino so better watch my video right here I will put it in here and then click it, panorin nyo muna and after you watch it, go back to my video and then let's proceed and then another thing that we need is this DCSD cable so actually the DCSD cable that we needed for this is this kind of DCSD cable but wala kasi ako mabili noon kaya ito ang nabili ko, DCSD cable but upon checking this DCSD cable, this is also Alex cable. So I think pwede naman siya gamitin. And I hope pwede siyang gamitin. So ngayon malalaman natin kung uubra ba ito aking DCSD cable na walang ilaw. Let's start the process. Come on. Para simulan ng process nito guys, kung gagawin ninyo, dapat i-install nyo muna yung mga files na kailangan natin. Ang mga files na kailangan natin is itong purple sliver at saka itong ating magic CFG. Just in case na hindi nyo pa alam to kung paano i-install, uh, puntahan nyo lang itong video ko na to. Panoorin nyo to, doon sasabihin ko kung paano i-install. So para to make this video much shorter, hindi ko na isasama dito yung way of installation, I assume that you already installed these two files, or two applications, the Purple Sliver and the Magic CFG. Madali lang naman siya install no? So I assume meron na kayo nyan, kaya diretso na tayo sa steps natin. So first, we are going to check our or our iPad to boot up on Pontiff mode. To do that, what we are going to do is plug our lightning cable on our iPad and then plug it in our Mac. And then after that, yeah, let's click trust and then let's boot on DFU. Okay. Now, we are stuck on black screen, we are good to go. That only means that we are already on DFU mode and then the iTunes will read our iPad as something like iTunes has, detect has detected an iPad in recovery mode so you must restore it. So the next thing to do is let us open the purple sliver. And I already put it in my lab here so I have easy access for all the apps that I needed. So let's click iPad mini 1 and before we go to something like load IBSS or load IBEC, let's just click CPID. That is just to make sure that we already had the right CPID for this iPad. So what we have right now is CPID 8942. So this iPad mini 1 has CPID of 8942. Next thing to do is we're gonna double check our Arduino sketch. Just open the Checkmate A5 folder and then double click Checkmate A5 INO. Wait for it to load up. Okay, as you can see here in the screen, what we have here is A5 underscore 8940. So what we are going to do is to edit the 0 and replace it with 2, 8942. And after editing that, we are going to upload it on our Arduino. Let's unplug the iPad and plug the Arduino in our Mac. Let's go to tools and then point. Make sure that USB modem Arduino Uno is selected. And then click this arrow and upload it. Let's 
devices than uploading. So after that, we can already exit Arduino software and then let's unplug our Arduino. Next thing to do is to plug our iPad here in our Arduino. Just like that. So after plugging our iPad on Arduino, we are going to plug our Arduino in our Mac. Take note of the LED light. It will blink for three times and then it will light for first steady light the fourth time. Just like that. We have a solid light. Then after that, let's unplug our Arduino in our PC and unplug our iPad on Arduino. And uh, pwede na natin itong itabi. Let's set aside our Arduino. And then let's plug our iPad here in our Mac. As you can see, iTunes detected all detected it again as in recovery mode. Next thing we're going to open Purple Silver. We're going to choose this iPad mini one and click load IBSS. So it says IBSS sent successfully. Next step is to send IBEC. Okay, so let's just follow the instructions here. Click load IBEC. So after clicking load IBEC, sabi dito, it says Disconnect your device. Wait for 5 seconds. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And replug and click Go Purple. So, in about 5 seconds, you should see a purple screen on your device. Switch to your DZSD cable and use Magic CFG to reprogram the serial. Just like that, as you can see, the front of our camera, our iPad mini one has already booted on purple mode. Wow, what a nice purple color. And then let's open the next application which is the Magic CFG. Just click continue and then wait for 5 seconds. 2, 1, 0 and then click continue again. And as you can see, we're already here in Magic CFG. The next thing we're going to do is to unplug our device. And then we're going to plug our DCSD cable. But before that, first we're going to put the USB in our Mac. Now our Mac should read our DCSD cable. Although, because this DCSD cable has no light, we cannot assume that it is already working. Yeah. Okay. Next thing to do is to plug our DCSD cable in our iPad. Really one. And then just like that, we're going to click the refresh button here and look for USB serial. So, click the USB serial and then click connect and then just like that, um, click read sys CFG. Oh wow, just like that, the Magic CFG has to read our iPad details. It also means that this cable, this CSD cable that I have brought from Lazada is legit nice one. So the next thing to do is to copy our serial number. So you can find our serial number right here in SN. And just right click and click copy. And then let's go back to our Safari and then search for the Apotex 752 website. Great thanks to Apotex 752 and congratulations for achieving 100,000 subscribers and I dream of having that many subscribers you know so guys don't forget to like subscribe to Simply Techie and share our videos support our channel guys right now in this website we're going to click downloads and scroll down and look for free IME checker and then click check now let's put our serial number right here and then we are going to change the fifth digit of this iPad. So if we check this serial number. Okay, so as you can see, iPad mini 16 GB silver Wi-Fi only. And it is find my iPad on. So meaning to say it has iCloud sign in on it. Okay, the next thing to do is to check more and let us repaste our serial number and look for the fifth digit one two three four five so the fifth digit is number six we're going to change it to any random numbers let's try seven and let's click search again okay so find my ipad on my ipad on so this is not what we wanted we want to find any serial number that has a find my ipad off so let's check more again guys the process na to baka dito kayo tumagal 
And let's change 6 to 5. This next. Okay, just like that guys, we already got a right serial number. So what we're going to do is highlight the serial number and click right click and click copy. And then let's go back to our magic CFG and then let's erase the original serial number and let's paste the modified serial number and click right. So as you can see, it says, yan jan, kita nyo, finish. It says it's already finished and then let's click right once again just to make sure and then after that let's disconnect the device refresh and select again the, our USB serial let's connect it again and let's click read CFG let's check our serial number if we already changed it already it says F86LL5 so we already changed the 6 to 5. Uh, we already good to go. Guys, ibig sabihin, okay na tayo. Ay, kapag hindi, nadugo na yung ilong ko. Okay guys, so after that, what we are going to do right now is to restore our iPad on 3U tools. So, if you ask me why we need to use 3U tools, guys, because um, pag yung iTunes yung ginamit nyo, once, once you use iTunes, you will encounter a lot of errors on restoring this device. So, you better use tools so there is no three tools for i for mac so we are going to restart my hackintosh and i will going to boot on my windows we can already remove our very useful dcsd cable okay right, so we already booted on our windows pc and again let's have our regular lighting cable let's plug it on our ipad here Let's boot on the FU mode. Hold the power and home button together and once it shut down or turn lock, release the power button just like that. So as you can see, iTunes has recognized our iPad. So what we are going to use is the 3 tools. If you don't have 3 tools guys, just go to your browser and go to search for 3 tools.com. So once you are in www.vietools.com, just click on it and download it and install it of course. It's an exe file. So once you have 3 tools, that should be like this. And makikita nyo, binasa na siya ng aking 3 tools. So after that, let's go to Flash. Go Flash. And as you can see, we don't have the firmware yet. So I will download it. This may take a while. Post the video and then I will going back after the download is done. Okay, guys, so download the natin yung firmware. We already downloaded the firmware as you can see on the tools. It says downloaded. So what we are going to do is to choose quick flash mode. So uh, take note of this, guys. Don't choose to retain user data. Don't choose anti recovery flash. Just choose this one in the middle, which is the quick flash mode, and then click flash. Just like that, it is now flashing. Okay guys, just like that, our trio tool says, congratulations, clean flash is completed. So, we just need to wait for our iPad to boot up and then we are good to go. Just like that. Pero hintayin pa rin natin siyang mag-boot up para matest natin syempre. Okay guys, so ito na siya. Nag-boot up na. Pwede na natin itong i-unplug sa PC. And then after unplugging, let's check kung may iCloud pa siya. So, hola, hello. Bonjour. Select natin and then set up natin ng mabilisan. Ito ng Philippines. Philippines, syempre, tayo'y Pilipino. So, let's click our Wi-Fi. Kailangan pa rin natin kumunik sa Wi-Fi. Okay. 
Pakita nyo na yung password ng wifi namin. Yan. So, it may take few minutes. So, minsan sa unang subok, ganyan talaga. Retry lang kayo ng retry. Retry ng retry until you succeed. Okay, so, location service. Fast forward na natin yung pag-setup. Okay guys, just like that, we already have an iPad mini one without an Apple ID. Hindi po to bypass, kundi total removal ng iCloud niya. So it is safe to reboot, safe to reset, safe to shut down, safe to update, safe to restore, safe to everything guys. So just like that, we already done it. And yun, nakakatuwa dahil nagawa natin ng maayos ang ating bypass. So guys, kung nakatulong sa inyo ang video na to, don't forget to like and subscribe sa channel natin and hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa mga videos na upload natin in the future. Please share this sa mga groups ninyo. Um, malaking pasasalamat ko pag sinashare nyo yung video at uh, nagko-comment din kayo sa baba. So, a big shoutout nga pala sa patuloy na sumusuporta ng Simple Techie. And this is Simple Techie na lagi nasasabi that's technology is not that complicated. Salamat sa inyo pananood. God bless everyone. Peace out. Bye-bye.